Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy, Gamer Jealous, and I'm here about to review One Piece Power Warriors 2. Okay, One Piece Power Warriors 2 is the second installment from the first Power Warriors. One Piece Power Warriors 2 settings going to the new world. And it's basically its own, its own original story. It got some parts from the anime and it's really good. And they brought back some of the some of the arts, you know, like the Sky P art, the Thriller Bart, Thriller Bart uh, art. And it's really good. I, re I really enjoyed it. The game is really good. The story takes takes place about Luffy finding his dial, and it's like when they came across Steampunk Hill, it like they found another dial that's purple. Usopp touches it, and when he try to click it, it doesn't work. Well, it did it did work? It just throw like black fog at it, and Luffy's dial like um, went out of control and. But the first you and activate the purple dial. That's the control dial to the control to go evil. Um, basically, not trying to spoil anything. The dial um, is trying. What's going on right now? Blackbeard trying to control everybody and using that dial. So I'm not going to spoil too much. I just want to say a little bit, a little bit about it. Um, Nanko Bandai did a really, really good job on this game. I really love it. And it's really good. The game is really, really good. The story is absolutely... I love it. Um, there's cutscenes, there's in-game cutscenes. Um, sometimes, like, when you beat a mission, there will be, like, a cutscene, like, four characters talking. And aside from the first part where you're recording, it will just a little... It's a picture, and they have, like, a slide to all the pictures, and they're talking and reminiscing about stuff. This is kind of like this is kind of like the same thing, but this Power Warriors 2 is basically a war going on, and they try, and Luffy trying to recruit other Power Warriors to save his friends and stop Blackbeard. That's what basically what Power Warriors 2 story is about. Um, well, pretty much in a nutshell. Um, Gameplay. The gameplay for One Piece Power Warriors 2 is still the same. The one thing they uh, took out was the platforming. Now it's just all straight up combat. Um, the gameplay is still the same. Use triangle square, you know, to attack. X is a dodge. Circle is a special attack. Um, but now he's a new extra feature they added. I like to call. I like to call it rage mode. So this orange bar on the left side of your character once that fills up you press R1 and your character like becomes slightly become slightly stronger and faster and, and every character has it and the difference between some characters um, are either if they are attacker or technical so if you're an attacker you're red I, I guess I've never really um, Try to figure this out. 
like the oh, for attacker you're more stronger or I don't know what the technical person does, but I know they like when they go in their race when they come through. Besides that, besides that, um, the gameplay plays really fluid. Everything is good. Um, the map is more bigger. Enemies are slightly more smarter now. If you try to charge up one of your weapons and you charge up one of your like attacks, um, they will attack you. So. They play slightly more smarter now. I'm glad about that. This new dis difficulty is very hard. It's called very hard. They added that since you know, once you max out your character, it's like very hard. It's like, it's like what the heck. So now we got a new difficulty. Once you beat the game, you know, you unlock it. It's called very hard. And it, it definitely is a challenge now. Once you put, if, once you play the levels, on very hard. And, but um, the difficulty now, like when you try to level your character, um, it's standard where you go to level one to fifty. But now there's a way you can go to level fifty to a hundred. Now I still can't figure it out. I'm still trying to figure it out. I don't know how. But um, I got limit break, but I still can't figure it out. But you know, the game is still good, and there's a lot more added features. There's also a new feature called, um, well, I don't know what it's called. It's like a coin bingo sheet. It got, it has um, One Piece characters. If you, if you got the coin that you, um, that's on the bingo sheet, it's connect. It got um, a connect line, and you get like a new skill that you can equip. So. As you go into the game, you get coins, um, you get new skills, new um, slightly new power up. Um, so yeah, you get that too. And um, it's also also you can it's easier when you have like a high level character. Say like you got Luffy, that's high level, and none of your characters none of your characters are. You can use. You, you can use the berries. Well, berries are considered as currency for like a dollar, like, like for art. But in One Piece world, they use berries for money. And um, you use the berries to level. You can use your berries to level up your character to the max level. So you had to do the um, the old original ways, like going through a level and trying to grind your the character up to the highest level. If you use, if you use, if you want, you use a quick way. Use your berries to level up your character. Also, um, also, it's um, also there's a lot of new features in there, and it's, it's very good. And they did, Namco Bandai really did a really good job on this. Music. The soundtrack for One Piece for Power Warriors 2 is fantastic. I love the first one, and of course I'm gonna like the second one because they brought some of the songs from the first one to the second one, and there's some new songs for the second one that I absolutely love. And I still love the snow level with the snow bunnies and. The music from that level, I forgot who was, I think that's Drum Island. I'm not even sure. So. But the music from that is very good and I love it. And I can't really say much about it. Like, <laughs> I simply love the soundtrack from it.
Now I'm about to talk about the DLC and what some things that I hate about the game. Okay, so the DLC. The DLC for the game is just new extra missions that you can do. Like, um, for missions, for challenges. Um, and there's also new costumes. Um, like in the first one, there wasn't in the first Fire Warriors, so there wasn't that much DLC for it. I hated the fact that everything that was, you know, all on one package for like you pay fifteen dollars for all DLC. What happens? You don't want all of it, and then you know there was like certain costumes that you want. Now in One Piece Fire Warriors too, you can either get the bundle or you can get some of the some or you can get some of the clothes separately. That's what I like about the DLC. And um, and some of the some of the bundles come with the new challenges. Now, here's the stuff that I hate about the game. One that I'm still pissed about why America still didn't get no physical copy. Why we had to pay fifty dollars on PSN for an eight gig game? Well, in the first one was like eleven gig. Why this one eight gig? I still understand it. But I want my physical copies. I don't want to wait. If I don't have, feel like somebody don't have a good internet, and they have to wait like a day or two just to play the game. I, I hate that. <laughs> I don't have a good internet, and I gotta wait like a day for for uh, downloading it. Then I gotta wait for it to install. I want to. I just want to buy my game and pop it in my in my game system and then start playing it. I'm tired of using digital copies and. And I think, and I really, that's the biggest thing I really hate about the game. I, don't, I didn't see too much problems of the game. I didn't see any screen tearing or anything else. Um, and I also hate that the game is also heavily based on um, internet. For some reason, even though if you play the game, if you play the game offline, There'll be tons of times where you go to the menu or go or try to select a character and give you the option to, to select to be online. Well, I don't want, I hate the fact that if I want to play offline, I'm always having to see that, to see that pop up and I gotta select no, I just want to play my game. That's it. I don't want nothing popping up. But that's my two issues. That's pretty much my two issues, why I have to buy the game. But, um, here's my overall review. Um, if you a One Piece fan, I should say, you should automatically buy it. If you want to play this with a friend, or if you have the game, and... Yeah, if you have the game, or you're having a hard time, you will co up with a friend, or a brother, or sister, and... You will have a blast with this game. This game plays just like Dynasty Warriors, but One Piece, but and it's better. And it is just a really good game overall. And I highly suggest anybody else who has a PS3 to buy this game. I will get this game a nine out of ten because I freaking love this game. I love me some One Piece too. Usopp is my favorite character, but you know I give this game a one nine out of ten. And I hope y'all enjoyed this review. And I hope y'all do some more. And like, subscribe, and do all that good stuff. And I'll see y'all next time.